Welcome back to Falang Day. My name is Sunny Burns, and each week we're searching someone to speak English for five minutes for one thousand baht. Could you complete the mission? Let's get the ball rolling and welcome today's guest. Hi there. What's your name? Oh, my name is Liu. Liu. Hi. I do have a. Formal Thai name, if you want to know, okay. it's, it's called Yosef Lit. Yosef Lit. Yosef Lit. Uh -huh. But I thought it would be too difficult for you to pronounce. Okay. Sometimes Thai names are a little bit hard for um for lungs to pronounce. Ah! But I hear a slight British accent. Oh uh, yes, I lived in England for about five years. Wow. Okay. So today's topic is cultural differences. Wow. All right. All right. So let's get straight to it. Stopwatch. Are you ready? Okay. Three. Two, one. Okay. So, when you first went to England, what was the biggest difficulty that you faced? Um, I would say the weather, and then food, mm -hmm. and then the third would be probably people. Okay. Because it's just it's just different. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. The way the way people talk, the way people make friends, mm -hmm. it's just new things to me. Okay. So when you first went to the UK, could you speak English well? Yes, I could, but probably not this well because um, because before I went to the UK, I, I I went to India before as well oh, okay. for about three years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And in that time, I learned English. So obviously, I speak a little okay. bit of English, but. Not proper. And what would you say the biggest difference is between British people and Thai people? I would say English people knows when to party, but Thai people doesn't really know when to party. Uh -huh. You know how Asian culture are like work, work, work all the time, but yeah. people in the West they sort of know like um, when to work and when to play. Yeah, and that's. That's the difference that I noticed. Yeah, British Biggest. people love to get on the piss after work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Australian as well, I assume. Yeah, because I'm um, half British, half Australian. Oh. So my dad is British and my mum is Australian. Mm. So, but you have a really great British accent. Really? Wow. Yeah. Thank you. So I find that some Thai people, when they do go overseas to like America or England. They normally only hang around Thai people. Mm. So did you do that, or did you mostly hang out with foreigners? To me, no, because the university that I got into, I was pretty much the only Thai student <gasps> that got accepted. So I had to, you know, live by myself and make friends with um, white people and you know all the other nationals. Mm -hmm. So, for you, did you watch a lot of British TV as well when you were there? Oh yes, definitely. I was really addicted to a series called Made in Chelsea. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's was, a reality TV show. Yeah, on Netflix. So, wow! And then many, many other series as well, Sherlock Holmes and stuff. Even, even uh, funny TV shows, but it's not British. It's American. It's called Conan. That's okay. one of my favorite shows as yeah. well. And being a Thai person in England, how did you adjust yourself? Because Thai culture and British culture is very different. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really talk much. You know, I'm not, I'm not a talkative person, but I, but I can, I can make friends. I think. I don't know. I don't know how I behave. But for example, so in Thailand, yeah. when I meet someone older than me, I always yok oh. or always why. Oh, 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 yeah. So in in, in, Brit in, in, in England, England, you don't do that. I don't do that. Yeah. But I think, but I think for me, I, I, I carry that habit as well to okay. to the UK and and people in England, like I found it quite surprised, but they, I think they liked it. Mm -hmm. wow. They see it as, um, you know, an Asian thing, and they they look at us as you know as 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 if I'm being modest, but it's my culture. Okay, so they like it. I, I found it very positive. Okay, great. Mm. And another thing is that you can't do in Thailand is point your feet. Oh yeah. So in Falang culture, it's okay to point your feet. Mm. So did you notice anything like that when you were there? That you had to go not react because it's okay to do that in Falang culture, but in Thailand you can't. Oh no, for me I didn't. I didn't find a problem with pointing mm -hmm. thing at all. But a big difference I noticed was in the UK, no nobody leaves their shoe before they enter the houses. Yeah. But in Thailand, it's a must. 
Yeah, so in, in, even in Japan, yeah. before here I lived in Japan, so when you enter a house, you have to take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. But in Falang culture, you no don't have to. Yeah. And what about the food? Because a lot of my Thai friends live in England and they really miss Thai food. Yeah, I think food, food is another big issue because uh, food in the UK doesn't taste like it, it has no taste. <gasps> Really? For, for me, for I me. I love British food. I know, but because in Thailand, we, we eat spicy food every yes. day. So we sort of like addicted to it. When, when we try English food, it's just so... How do you, how do you say bland? Uh -huh, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Dude. All right. Time's up. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. No for worries. You. So, but before we go, I want to have a little chat about you. Sure. One thing that I really like about you was when you're in the UK, you watched a lot of series. Wow. How watching series helped you with your English? Sometimes when you um, when you just live by yourself, you don't really get that much opportunity to interact with people yeah. unless unless you really have business with them. So by watching TV show, I think you learn. Uh, how do you say it? daily life dialect? Yes. What people use in their everyday life, and it's sort of like it makes you understand better. And a couple of the words that we spoke about today that some Thai people might not understand is on the piss. On the piss. So did you hear that word a lot in the UK? So on the piss <laughs> means to go out and to go drinking. Oh yeah. Because today your English was really good. Thank you. Sammy. I really like your British accent. And I really like what you stand for. Oh, so today, you. I'm going to give you 1,000 baht. Thank you. Okay. So that's all that we have time for today. Thank you for watching. And if you want to take part in our show, send us a message on our Facebook page at Falang Day and keep watching at bugaboo.tv. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.